When you get off the plane, I sing no Would you remember all the things you came from? All right, it's back to work Sunday. This is the project I'm doing today. Going to be trying this new tool to cut down all of that tall stuff here. Winter's coming soon, I could just let it go, but I wanna see what I've got to deal with there. I got a bunch of holes from plants I was gonna put in years ago and I never did it, so I just was thinking about giving this thing a try. This is, this is the unit I showed you guys last week. So basically just plug your battery in and we're gonna go get going. So here it is on the road so you can see. I've got these little skids that I put on it so I can just kind of glide it through the grass. You're just gonna press your little safety button here and that's it. And then you would just push like yeah. So let's get over the grass and try it out. All right, so just like last weekend, I'm gonna go all the way down this row here. You see how it cuts. Like I said, you guys, it's electric. If you don't like electric, you won't like this tool. I just find it super easy on me. You know, you just kind of got to go back and forth. If you come up against any big stuff, just, you know, ease into it. But like I said, it's got a big blade on it too. If you need to cut branches, you can just switch off the blade. So anyway, I got a lot of work here to do. I'll just keep going. I wanted to show you too, like, you can even come, you see how my flags are here from last week. See how you can just kind of cut right around it. Just keep those skids away and then you can just work right around your flag or whatever obstacle you're trying to do. Now I actually really like this unit. It feels kind of wimpy at first, but it seems like it's doing the job to me. Okay, there's the weed mower thing. It lasted about 30 minutes on the battery, just to let you all know. That's about enough for me anyway. So 30 minutes at a time, it's back on the charger. And for my next trick, we're back to this Mantis unit. Still can't figure out where the crap I bought this thing. I thought I would have bought it from Amazon, but it's not in my order history. Anyway, last week, last weekend, you noticed I put in a tulip bed. I'm running out of space in this yard. I've got 150 more bulbs. These are my hydrangeas. And I wanted to put this in here so that when these guys grow up, they'll shade, provide a little shade. But I'm just so pinched for room right now and I gotta get this stuff in the ground. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig a trench right next to it. And then over here for now, I'm just gonna do a couple of trenches for, I've got 33 like specimen type hostas. Um, I'll have to move them again. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go. All right, so <clears throat> here's one of the projects besides the bulbs. These are all hostas I got from Gilbert H. Wild. No, they're not sponsored. Um, I just wanted to show you all how they were packaged. I'm pretty freaking impressed. Let's look at this thing here. Well, I don't want to with one hand here. You get the idea. These will all be going in the trenches for this year just so I can get them in the ground. Because I'm running out of time. It's mid-October and we're going to have, you know, sleet or snow or something coming soon. So I got in the shade here so we could check it out. Um, you know, I'm not going to pull all these out right now and show them to you. You get the idea. Really well done on the packaging. I mean, wow. Every one of them has got their own container, their own soil. So I got uh, the Hosta Collection. It's about 300 bucks for all of these. Look at that little one down there. That one's gonna be really cool. So uh, these are all gonna be my specimen plants. These are not the common ones I normally get. All right, um, let's see, I'm not sure how many I got. I think I got nine bags of this topsoil, 100 pounds of sand, and now we're just gonna take it down there in that little tractor and get it blended in. It's 4.30. Uh, that's where the sun's at. So I've only got an hour and a half. All right. Soil transferred from that to this to here. I'm not going to try to mix it like I did last time. I'm trying to find a more efficient way to get these things buried and mixed well. I think I'm just going to have to do it right on the spot. That's just the way it's got to go. So that's what it looks like. And I'll get going. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> All right, listen, here's the deal. Since I'm crippled, I gotta come up with different ways to do things. What I figure is I can get down on my knees, break open a bag just like that, just rip it open, screwdriver, and then I can take some of my sand and right here in my lap, basically, I will mix it up by hand, then slide it over into the hole. Because I think that sand's important uh, for drainage because I think this soil is, uh, well, it just looks like it holds a lot of water. And I'm, I've heard about bulbs. That's not a good thing. You want good drainage for the hostas too. So this is where I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go all the way down the line, bag by bag, and just do it right here, kind of right in my lap. So I think it'll actually go pretty quick. Uh, we'll see how long this takes me. I'll let you know. All right, so this is what it looks like. I actually kind of prefer this, really. Less strain on the back. I just mix it here by hand, get it to the consistency I like, right? Get it mixed up, and then I just gently hand sprinkle to keep all the bulbs standing up, right? And boy, I mean, this took me three minutes. So I think I've actually found a way that works for me. So I'm just gonna continue all the way down the line like this. All right, I got a mess going here. It's about 3.15 in the afternoon, about two and a half hours left before dark. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna pull all the hostas in here. I'm just gonna till up all of this area in here and put it right next to, so we'll have row of tulips, row of daffodils, with some tulips mixed in. Over here, limelight hydrangeas, will be about five or six feet tall. So that should give us some shade. When the sun begins to go down in that direction, it'll cast shade over this way. So that should protect the hostas. Um, plus, it's just the fact that, you know, I got, I got so much space I can use before I've got to get in there and clear it. So this looks like a good enough spot to me for right now. I'll figure it out as I go, but that's what I'm doing today before the sun goes down. So well, let's get to it. All right, well, it's 4.05, however long that was, how long it took me to do that section. Now, it just occurred to me, I'm not very bright. It's my first time even doing this. I've never farmed or anything like that, so I don't know. It just occurred to me, up there on that truck, I just bought all of that topsoil. I'm like, why don't I go load that up onto that little tractor, come down here, throw it in the ditch, and till it all in. Wow. <laughs> what a knucklehead. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I've got two hours left, and then it's dark, so we'll see what I can get done. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how many I got. I think I got nine bags of this topsoil, 100 pounds of sand, and... Now we're just going to take it down there in that little tractor and get it blended in. It's 4.30. Uh, that's where the sun's at. So I've only got an hour and a half. All right. Well, that's disappointing, but that's what I've got. I think I really could have doubled that, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Let's get it done. 4.54. <laughs> the sun's starting to go down. Anyway, that's what it looks like. That's about as good as it's going to get for right now. I only have one day a week to, uh, to do this, if you guys are wondering why I'm hurrying. So, um, plus all these plants over here, they've been in boxes now for shipping, however long that's taken. So, the biggest thing I'm wondering about is how I'm going to label all of these. I mean, they're already labeled, but so I don't forget them. Anyway, I can't film all of this, you guys. I'm just gonna have to get going. So I'll catch up here when I can. All right, so everything's pre-staged. I've got one little guy that I kept out. You can see how tiny he is. Already got a flower on it. It's kind of crazy. I'm going to keep that one and put it in another little area I've got. But now it's just simply unboxing. Trying to at least get the roots in the ground and save the names. That's the biggest deal. So got to get going. Okay, so that's what I got in so far. What I decided to do since I'm racing against the clock is to just stick the pot upside down right next to it. And then next weekend I can come back to them and uh, get them more documented. But basically, I don't really know I can do this um, 
holding the camera. I'll have to get something more set up if I'm going to continue to do these videos. But anyway, just rip this open. Hold on. All right, so once it's ripped open, you see they've got it nice and packaged. This is really so professional. And the plastic here. Now, some of the roots have grown into the bottom, and I have to cut them off with scissors. But these are really healthy looking. I'm surprised that they transported so nice. All right, guys, I got to keep going. All right, peeps or homies or uh, dudes, bro, <laughs> whatever we're calling each other these days. This is what it looks like. Now, <laughs> you know, this is not the final product, but at least I can get an idea of what's going on here. Um, again, like I said, I ended up burying pots with the plants and then later on I used my scissors trying to find one here like this one I use my scissors and I would just cut it off this one's Elizabeth right and then I just stuck it in shoot I didn't hardly get any dirt on that at all glad I saw that um, anyway this is just good to kind of kind of keep them for this week and then I'll be back out here next weekend we'll see what else I come up with like I said I think what I'm gonna do is put the allium Put some allium in here. I think it'll be kind of neat, you know, like when the hostas get bigger, they'll get big fast. I'll have to remove these here in probably oh, a couple of seasons. But I kind of thought like the allium would pop up out of the hostas and show some color and look kind of neat. Anyway, sun's going down. I got all the trash picked up. That's it for me. I got to put everything back inside. Call it a day. If you guys want to check back next weekend, I'll see you next weekend. All right, take care. Show up Pandora's box. It's a little baby hosta. Look at that, it's pretty. Alright, all done for the day. <laughs>